This control panel allows us to display atomic orbital according to quantum numbers. Here we have the 100 state. I can increase n here to 2, show you a solid cutaway type models, increase L, uh, change M, and the uh, orbitals display show the correct orientation, um, shape, and size. We can also rotate these orbitals just by clicking on this button. And you can also control the rate at which the, uh, and the axis about that these orbitals rotate. We labeled our orbitals uh, and arranged them in a three-dimensional grid according to our quantum number. The orbitals are to scale, so you can see how the orbitals change in uh, both size and shape as the quantum numbers change. It's also fully interactive. You can change the orientation just by clicking on a few buttons, which is very nice. Here we have the selection rules exhibit. We can see the 3S is the current state, the yellow box. Uh, the green boxes are the uh, loud transitions, and the red boxes are the forbidden transitions. Let me select um, another box here. Let's go through this 3P state here. See the display change, and the display is uh, three-dimensional, so you can walk around and uh, examine the relationship between all the quantum numbers. Change, uh, select the state and you can see the loud transitions and the forbidden transitions. Over in this part of the lab we have a hydrogen absorption spectrum exhibit showing specifically the Balmer series. In the visible light spectrum we have a white light that we can switch on and off that will cause the spectrum to disappear on the board. Turning it back on the spectrum will reappear. As the light passes through this cube of orbitals, the uh, orbitals will jump up into a higher energy level state. And then as they jump back down, they will release a photon in a random direction of the correct color.